Hey everyone, I'm John Ennis. And I'm Ruth Brown, I'm filling in for Alyssa, who taught the class, but I'm just helping with the recap. Yes, exactly. So Alyssa Kelly and I taught it a week one, October 2014, core level class on switches. So what we worked on was, first we cleaned up our swing outs, we talked about the importance of leads, um, having the ability to leave the follow out on a swing out, and follows feeling for the end of the, sw of the swing out and not rushing the six, seven, and eight, so they end up running in on, on one, two. So if Ruth were to do, can you do like the rock seven, seven thing? One, so if Ruth jumps out there, she's gonna end up having to come in because she's so far away that she ends up seven and eight running to, running at me. So we worked on being cool, taking your time. We need that for switches. We need to be able to be going according to the momentum and not according to our ideas about what's happening. We need to go with what's actually happening. So then we worked on the middle of the swing out. We worked on this, let's see, from the four. We worked on this movement here, this over-rotated movement. Five, collapsing the frame here so that we can get five, six, seven, eight. So all together, if I, I, I was just an over-rotated swing out back where we came from, it would look like this. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So we worked on that. Uh, we talked about the importance of the followers connecting on the leader's arm in the middle of the swing out so that when this over-rotation happens, they are stabilized. If Ruth were to put her arm up in the air, she's going to end up getting pushed off balance. So this helps to stabilize her so that this over-rotated swing out doesn't knock her off her feet. Okay, then we talked about the trajectory of the switches. So I'm instead of trying to send Ruth here, I'm going to send her out a 45 degree angle, extra 45 degrees, or probably over four for David Livingston. So she's going out that direction, which, which gets the rotation going. And then Ruth, what we taught followers was just stepping on the switches. Okay. Leads, we did a tacky ante, and we came out of it with a triple step. So you're going to see me do a swing out, three tacky ante, and then a triple step. On the uh, third tacky ante, you're going to see touch step, and I'm going to step into Ruth. So here we go, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. And of course, there's one regular swing out. Two, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, seven, eight. Okay, and that's what we worked on. So we'll smooth that out next week. Any other comments that you want to give the followers? You weren't there, so. <laughs> but uh, for switches, I think here's a big thing. Leads. We don't lead switches in the sense there's not no need for this business. I just have the intention, so I'm thinking I'm going to send her out, give her the momentum, and then I just keep her away from me. Uh, I just keep her away from me and think switches, I, but I don't have to do this business. My hand moves because her body is moving, not because I'm moving it. Okay, it's good. Thank you. Thanks. Why not?